what is the agenda for today i'll start from the same and uh -huh. we'll recap that thing then from tomorrow we'll jump into the technical part like you know okay, uh, okay. from in the system too and actually everything we'll cover day by day all right and, yeah so the uh system demonstration i am doing for today for a succession planning okay so let me share my screen and let me start a quick recap of the same uh should we log into success uh, the the success factors or is it fine you will show the screen i i am showcase the screen so okay. uh, these sessions would be covered by me for example if uh, something i need to tell so i'll i'll uh, showcase my instance so first of all when we talk about the succession planning um, succession planning is basically uh, you know uh, it's a process basically it's a process of identifying the critical positions you know within your organizations and developing the actions plan for you know individual positions assuming those positions are you know critical for our organization and take a holistic view of current and future goals of that employee so Uh, basically succession planning is majorly focus on uh, critical positions uh, how to make them as a critical position that is also uh, will be part of succession planning now once you have these positions now uh, it's not restricted that you can only have top level positions within succession planning it's like your position management would be there and if you want to do the succession planning for all the positions top to bottom we can include it you know and based on the role based permissions we can give permissions to different different team also and they can perform the actions accordingly so succession planning is basically um, if i can say in a long term succession planning the strength are overall capability of the organization by what by you know identifying the critical positions and highlighting the potential vacancies so if we have the vacancies if we want to you know add a successor for a particular position then we can find out the particular talent of the for the same so then selecting the key competencies skills and you know other criteria we can you know identify the particular talent for example we are you know targeting one manufacturing department and, and there are three four positions which are critical like department head or anything so what we can do we can have different different criteria within succession planning where we can find out the best person best employee who would be as a successor for that position so these feasibilities uh, we already have into our succession planning then what we can do once we have done with the succession planning uh, we have made that person as a successor also uh, further you know identifying his potential and his readiness as well as deciding his future goals according to that future position all these things can also be done from the succession planning now these are the benefits like identifying candidates for key positions this is uh, like we have talent search we have talent uh, pools available nine box are there then improving the accuracy of the staffing decisions so for example we have like 10 employees 10 candidates i would say and we have to decide like two only out of them so we can compare their capabilities we can compare their uh, employee profile uh, details and we can select at least one or two out of them now filling positions rapidly it's also very much important than when an employee leaves the organization his position should not be vacant so if we have a successor ready now so then we can you know uh, fill that position right away yeah. business you know? continuation will be there yes the continuation will be there and again if we have as a you know incumbent for that position again we can do the succession planning for that position and yeah. we can nominate more persons as a successor so this would be like a chain that won't break anywhere now uh, retaining and promoting key talent so again uh, succession planning encourage us to you know make employees promoted so if they are promoting to the higher level if they are you know uh, uh, becoming a successor for uh, his upper level positions so that will encourage them to be you know workaholic and you know work hard and then you will be promoted accordingly 
now collaborating across functions and families so we have all the families and roles available within our succession you know planning we have position management integrated with succession planning and uh, employee central whatever positions uh, we have created in employee central that would be part of succession planning there is no restrictions there is no uh, uh, means restrictions would only be applicable based on role based permission now creating talent pools for special skills so yeah we can create some pools like a bucket where we can you know uh, nominate some employees we can do internal assessment of them and then once they you know are identified as a successor we can nominate as a successor for them as a position now this is like a, a view uh, where we have succession tools available succession org chart position tile linear chart talent search and nine box so two nine box are there performance versus potential and how versus what which is basically objective versus competencies now uh, what are these tools basically so as a succession admin uh, we can have different different tasks you know like uh, if we have a successor for a position what we can do we can directly go to succession org chart and find that position and nominate that person as a successor but what about if we don't have any successor you know we have to find out the right talent then the admin can go into talent search and you know he can take help of some search criteria and he can find out the right person also so these different different tools uh, would help us to identifying the positions marking those positions as critical or not critical and uh, identifying the right talent also uh,